Hey, what's going on? This is Mike Garvey with BrandonBoss.com, and in today's video, we're going to be going over network marketing versus affiliate marketing. So stay right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with this. This is your first time on the Brand the Boss channel. Here at Brand the Boss, we like to talk about all things make money online, and that includes network marketing, affiliate marketing, building a business online, and doing videos just like this one. So if you like that type of content, then please hit that subscribe button. And at any point, if you happen to enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up. So let's get on with this thing. Now, I have experience in both network marketing and affiliate marketing. I'm currently an affiliate marketer, but I started out my online business or my business building journey through network marketing going all the way back to 2004. And up onto the beginning of this year, I was all about network marketing and then I made the pivot to affiliate marketing. So I have an understanding of both areas. But the one thing that they both do have in common is marketing. And if you don't know how to market, you're not going to be successful at either one. So at any point during this video, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you to a new training that will teach you how to do just that and more. So let's go ahead and make the move over to my computer so we can go ahead and get on with this network marketing versus affiliate marketing video all right so let's jump into this what i want to do is give you a bird's eye view of what network marketing and affiliate marketing are so therefore you can have a clear understanding of the difference between the two so typically the cost of joining mlm is going to be you know as low as twenty dollars a month or a year it can it can be more than that but the reason you're paying this fee is because um Network marketing companies uh, typically charge uh, 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 a small fee to become an affiliate of their actual company. Now, this does not include the company's product cost, meaning the products that they actually sell, because usually you're going to have to be a customer of their products as well if you expect to advance in the network marketing company and make more commissions. And additionally, you want to have an email autoresponder. And the purpose of that is you want to have a way to follow up with the leads that you get so that you can go ahead and, you know, keep targeting them so that you can eventually, you know, make a sale or get them recruited into your downline. And so you can expect the cost, uh, excuse me, you can expect to pay $15 a month at minimum for a quality uh, email autoresponder. Now, there are two components to network marketing. You have recruiting and you have customers. And if you don't have these two components in a network marketing company, then it's likely a scam and it's not going to be around very long. So when it comes to recruiting, right here in this diagram or this illustration, you see you have this basic downline structure. Now, every company is going to vary, but this is the most common and most well-known and easy to understand um, illustration of a downline. So you have this example right here, view at the top and you recruit three people into your first level. And then those three people recruit three people into their levels as well. And the process repeats itself. Now you're probably wondering, how is it that you actually get paid when it comes to recruiting in your downline? Now, like I said, it's going to vary from company to company, but the most general understanding of this is on your first level, which in this illustration is your front line. You can expect to be paid a certain amount of percent percentage of commission based off of the money that is generated from uh, that level. So let's say, for example, and these are just going to be arbitrary numbers. Let's say, for example, you have 40, you're going to get paid 40 percent commission off of the money generated on your first level. And then on your second level, you're going to get paid 10 percent commission off of the money generated on that level. 
And then on your third level, you get paid 5% commission. And then on all the remaining levels going down, you get paid 1% commission. Now, like I said, those are arbitrary numbers, but that is a clear understanding of how you can expect to be paid um, on your downline. And so you will have to look at the compensation plan of this specific network marketing company that you might be interested in. But that is just the basics right there. Now, when it comes to the second component, which is customers, this is dealing with product sales because because remember, you're not only recruiting people into your downline, but you're also making product sales as well to people who might not be interested in actually joining your downline, but they would love to be a customer of the products that your company actually offers. And these products can vary from tech stuff to health and fitness, uh, service based, meaning utilities such as, you know, satellite TV or um, cell phone service things like that but all of those equate to an auto ship auto pay or subscription type of a model so not only will your primary goals be of recruiting into your downline but you'll also have to get uh, customers as well and sign them up onto some auto ship type of program and these are usually requirements for you uh, to be able to rank up in your MLM company to you know make more money so I want to go ahead and talk about the required duties for success in network marketing because there are a lot of people who join an MLM but don't realize the requirements in order for them to be successful until you know it's it's too late and by that time they've already decided to quit and they call the industry a scam and by all means, network marketing is not a scam, but you just have to be informed about what is expected of you to be able to make the life changing income that you want to make within network marketing. So first of all, you have to grow your downline. And not only that, you need to assist your downline members in growing their downline as well. Second, you have to grow your customers. So you have to you have to sell more products. So that means either selling more products to the customers that you have or finding more customers to sell products to. Because the, the recruiting aspect and the, and the product aspect go hand in hand if you want to level up in your MLM company and make more commissions. You have to meet those requirements. Third, you also have to be a customer of the product as well. So not only are you um, paying an affiliate fee uh, to be in the network marketing company of your choice and you're doing uh, one and two on this list, but you also have to be a customer of your product. Now, I put a money sign on there because th these are additional costs that you are going to incur. So you have to be a customer of your company's products. And then fourth, this is optional, but I want to add it anyway, because it's a big part of the of a network marketing culture is you are going to um, need to attend company events. And I also put money signs on there because guess what? Those events cost money. All right. And typically they cost anywhere in the mid hundreds to, you know, upwards of like a thousand bucks or more. And that does not include actually traveling to the event because these events are usually held you know in different places so you'd have to drive there or fly there and then they usually you know go over for like a weekend and so you can expect to have to get a hotel to stay somewhere for a few days and all of that costs money now i added it to your required duties but made it optional because if you have one through three down you will be successful in the business but if for some reason you're lacking somewhere in between one and two and you're going to naturally ask your upline for help or your sponsor, the person who brought you in. And one of the first things that they're going to ask you is, do you plan on attending the company event? And if you tell them no or you're not sure, then the chances of them helping you out 
to the extent that you would want are going to be minimal because in their eyes, they're, they're going to think that you don't take it seriously. And so they're going to really push you to go to these company events, especially if you want to be, you know, immersed in their world and get all the help that you want from your upline and the people who are successful. But if you happen to meet one through three, then you'll be successful at it anyways. So this is just a, this isn't to, to, to scare you or anything. This is just to inform you and let you know that, listen, you can make a lot of money in network marketing and you can be very successful and, and network marketing is an awesome thing, but you have to understand what is required of you to be successful because it's not as easy as a lot of people will make it seem. So let's go ahead and move ahead to affiliate marketing. So the typical cost to join an affiliate network is zero dollars and an affiliate network is something like Amazon Associates. So you can sell or promote Amazon products, uh, JVZoo or ClickBank. There is a whole host of networks out there for um, many different industries. It doesn't matter. There's a whole host of them, but the typical cost to joining these affiliate networks are zero dollars. And in the special case, when it comes to very specific industries or specific networks themselves, there might be a, sli a slight charge um, to join them. And it's usually like maybe 25 or 30 bucks a month or something like that to join those networks so that you can promote their products as well. And they're usually high ticket products, which are products that cost like a thousand dollars or more. So you earn, so the potential to earn a larger commission is there. So that's why you, sometimes you might have to pay um, those specific networks, but you can expect to only pay zero dollars to get started. Now, typically, when it comes as an affiliate marketer, you're going to need either a blog or a YouTube channel to to uh, a way to push your content and you're going to want an autoresponder. So the typical cost of a blog or a website is a hundred dollars a year on average. Now, this is all going to be dependent on which hosting company that you decide to sign up with. So you can expect to pay um at least a hundred dollars in some cases maybe less and in some cases maybe more a year and of course to get a youtube channel all you need is a gmail account because it's free and then of course as i mentioned earlier an autoresponder and you can expect to pay 15 dollars a month on minimum for a quality email autoresponder service now let's talk about the structure of what affiliate marketing actually is. See, we talked about what you do in network marketing when it comes to downlines and it comes to the product sales. So let's talk about affiliate marketing. So from left to right, as an affiliate marketer, you're gonna want to join an affiliate network. There's a quick sign up. And then once you're in that network, you're gonna wanna browse through their products, find the products that you like so that you might wanna promote. And once you find a product that you like, you promote the products through your blog or through your YouTube videos. And then once you have people who find interest in those products, they'll click your unique affiliate link and purchase the product through your link and you track the sales of those products and then you earn a commission from those products and those commissions can be anywhere from 2% to as high as 50% and in some cases even more. So your required duties for success when it comes to affiliate marketing is you just have to refer products or services by producing content and that's either written content through your blog or video content through your YouTube channel. And if you want to see some examples of a written content or video content, just go to my site, brandtheboss.com, and you'll see plenty of articles and examples of the written content of um, promoting products. And you'll also see various videos on my YouTube channel. Now, the one common denominator between network marketing and affiliate marketing is marketing. You must know how to market your business to be successful because if you don't know how to market your business, 
it doesn't matter how much you know money or effort you spend in in uh, network marketing or affiliate marketing you're not going to be successful because these are the basics you've got to know how to market your business to be successful in it so if you don't know how to market your business there is a new training which shows you how to launch a proven automated and profitable online business without tons of experience or tech skills and it will teach you everything you need to know about marketing for your affiliate business or for your network marketing business and much more so all you have to do is go to the link that you see right here on the screen or just click it in the description and get yourself set up for some business success so if you actually liked this video and you found it valuable and it gave you some clarity please hit that thumbs up also if you like this type of content hit the subscribe button and i'm mike garvey with brandtheboss.com take care and i will see you in the next video